All right, so now we move on to fluids in motion. And there are only three major principles with flu fluids in motion that you need to understand. Two of them we'll be going over here, the volume flow rate and the velocity of a fluid going through a spigot. And the third one is Bernoulli's principle, which we'll be tackling in a second. Now, the volume flow rate is based on the premise that in any system of pipes or any flowing fluid, you have to have the same amount of volume traveling through each point in the system. And that is Q, the volume flow rate constant. The application of that means that as you're moving through a pipe with a larger cross-sectional area, the fluid will be traveling more slowly. And then as it gets down into a smaller cross-sectional area, it has to be flowing more quickly in order for the same amount of volume to be moving through this point and moving through this point at the same time. So essentially the volume flow rate says that at any point in a fluid system, the Q, which is the volume flow rate constant, is going to be equal to A times V, where A is the cross-sectional area of the region that it's in, and V is the velocity of the fluid. What that means is that if you're in a smaller area, the velocity will be greater, and in a larger part of the series of pipes, it will be moving more slowly, but still pushing the same amount of volume through. The velocity of fluid from a spigot is a formula that you've seen before. This formula is velocity equals the square root of 2gh, and this looks very similar to the velocity of a falling object that started from rest. And uh, it turns out that this is the exact same formula, but expressed using a proof of Bernoulli's principle that allows it to apply for this spigot as well. So the H in this case is the height of the, the fluid above the level of that spigot. And what that means is that as the height of this fluid gets lower and lower and closer to the spigot, the fluid will travel more slowly. So you may have seen an applied application of this, perhaps with one of those beverage dispensers with a lot of uh, beverage in it, and you press the button on the spigot, and initially it flows out very rapidly, but as the beverage gets depleted, it starts to travel more and more slowly. And that is an application of this, the velocity of fluid from a spigot, and the formula for that, you can remember this one and commit it to memory, is that velocity equals the square root of 2gh and then we'll move on to Bernoulli's principle.